What's up, YouTube, and all my Yu-Gi-Oh players out there? Um, this is the start of something new that I plan on doing. Uh, where I will be, uh, like reviewing, uh, like archetypes. I mean, like I know it's a lot of people that play Yu-Gi-Oh and they're like on YouTube, but. I haven't seen anybody that the other reviews entire archetypes. So, you know, I thought that maybe I'd uh, like get it a try. Uh, and I'm like, just basically speak on, on like the strengths and the weaknesses of the archetype and just giving you guys some tips on, uh, on like what you can do like to cover those weaknesses and things and such. So, yeah, on to the review. The first archetype that I'm going to be reviewing um, is one of my favorites, as you can see, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the Steel Swarms. And, uh, like, basically, uh, the Steel Swarms are an archetype that specializes, you know, as the name implies, swarming. Um... They have abilities that can get rid of your, um, uh, the opponent's monsters with little or no effort, uh, like, without even attacking them, uh, like, or even destroying them, for that matter, um, uh, like, which is why... Um, one of the main strengths within this archetype, aside from the swarming, uh, like steel swarms are what I like to call a tight knit crew, um, because they only support each other. So using these cards outside of the archetype is not recommended by any means. Any means, uh, like they have some nice effects, but those effects can only be activated if a steel swarm monster was used as. Uh, as a uh, the tribute fighter, uh, and, like you have cards like uh, uh, like Steel Swarm Caller, uh, like which can special summon a level four, uh, like Steel Swarm. Uh, like if it was used to uh, like tribute summon uh, like one of the higher level Steel Swarm monsters, um, and you have cards like uh, like Steel Swarm Scout, um. <clears throat> uh, like which is basically like a treeborn frog for like only steel swarms and uh, the steel swarm cell uh, like, which can uh, like special summon itself from your hand so that you can use it as tribute fighter for like uh, like steel swarm mantis uh, uh, like gear stag and uh and uh moth Um, like which are are like the most commonly used um steel swarms amongst the like the higher levels. I mean, you have Hercules and uh like Longhorn, uh, like which are rarely seen uh, because like they require uh, like three tributes. Uh, um, like with at least like one steel swarm. Uh, like monster, uh, like as a tribute, so you know, uh, like they're harder to get out, so like they are rarely seen, but they do have some nice effects. Um, the steel swarms, uh, they have like some okay support cards, but uh, like they have uh, a quick play spell card called uh, like first first step towards infestation. Which uh, like allows you to draw one card by uh, like returning one uh, attributed um, Steel Swarm monster out of your hand. Uh, they have a trap card called uh, Infestation Wave, which is basically a Steel Swarm. Uh, um, I mean, uh, like first step towards Infestation. I'm um, except uh, like you can destroy one card on your opponent's side of the field. Uh, 
Let's see. Um, like, like another trap card is uh, like Means of Infestation, uh, like which allows you to uh, like search for uh, like steel swarms and you can put them into your grave, uh, like which is good for, for uh, from steel swarm scout because it can uh, like spread from it itself from your graveyard. Uh, like if you don't have any um any uh spells or traps, you know, just like Treeborn Frog. Um, and on top of that, uh, like if you have any steel swarms, like you can give uh, like one of them uh 800 attack, you know, which is a um like a pretty good attack boost. Um, and on top of that, like it's a nice way to expand uh the usage of the effects of Foolish Burial. Because, you know, that's a limited card and you can only, you know, have one of them in your deck, of course. And, uh, and, like, they have their own, uh, like, Monster Reborn. Um, like, in the form of a trap called, uh, like, Infestation Ripples. Um, like, but it costs you 500, uh, life points, which isn't too bad. You know, like, which isn't bad at all. Um, like one of the primary weaknesses of this archetype is that all but one of them have uh, like zero defense, and the one that doesn't have, I mean, that doesn't have zero defense is a uh, is um Steel Swarm uh like Gatekeeper. <clears throat> um, it has like nineteen hundred, which uh, like pretty much thins off. Uh, like most level fours. <clears throat> oh man! So I like, guess the main thing you have to worry about with Steel Swarm build. So uh, like any cards like uh, like Final Attack Orders, uh, like which forces you, which any card like Final Attack Orders, which forces your monsters to uh, uh to stay in attack mode, is um is pretty good. Uh. Uh, that helps out a lot. Um, uh, monsters like uh, the Gap of Divine Soldier, uh, like, which keeps all monsters on the field in attack mode. Uh, like those are a good way to counter uh, like level limit area B. And um, and another card that you know like isn't you know too thought of. Uh, Um, like you can use it as a like tech support. Um, is a uh, um, like universe inverse or, or, or like inverse universe. Or, like I don't know which. Or, like how is uh, like pronounced? Uh, like inverse universe or universe inverse? Uh, like just look it up and you'll, you know, uh, like you'll see. Uh, but yeah. Um, um, what the card does is that it uh is that it uh it permanently switches the uh attack and defense of all face up monsters on the field so it could be a good idea to side deck it. like one you know like just in case you uh like are running final attack orders or, or gap and you just so happen not to get it and in the event that you might have to uh, like play a defensive game, you know, like it's a good way to uh, to defend yourself. Um, and it'll be a, a very unexpected play uh, to your opponent because like they'll never see it coming. Uh, but that's just a thought, you know, or uh, inverse universe. But yeah, overall, like the Steel Swarms are a nice archetype to use. Um, they have some very great effects, you know, like a lot of people use cards like uh, like Starter's Dragon, which can stop um, like any card from being destroyed. But the Steel Swarms have monsters that can basically just uh, like bounce cards uh, like back to out of hand or the extra deck or like they can just uh, like send 
one monster on your opponent's side of the field to the graveyard. So, um, like Starter's Dragon can't do shit to that. But yeah, like this is my first review, and uh, I plan on doing more of these in the future, in the near future. So, if you guys have any suggestions on what archetype that you would like seeing uh, like reviewed, and what tips you would like to uh, have, you know, and, and such, uh, like. I mean, just feel free to let me know. Then, uh, like, I'll review it without no problem. And, uh, yeah, this has been my review on the Steel Swarm Mark Type. And, uh, this is Zarel saying peace out. <laughs>